Hey, what's up everybody? It's Neo here with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to apply a Windows-inspired start menu to your Android device. It's quite simple, you just need one application called Taskbar. Now you do not need to be rooted, but if you are rooted, you will get some additional features and some more advanced features unlocked for you. So let's go ahead and open it up. The first thing you're going to, you're going to want to do is enable Taskbar and just get that service running. Now here on the main page, there's also the option to adjust your UI or your interface. Now there are themes, but you need to be advanced or sorry, purchase a premium version for $1.99 to unlock that. Then you can also adjust the Taskbar position. I'm going to keep it on the bottom left like you would on a Microsoft computer. And then you can also adjust things like the notification, notification icon, and enable a search feature within the start menu. So as I mentioned, if you're rooted, you can use an exposed twist that will essentially place the menu icon or start icon in your navigation bar if your device has a navigation bar with soft keys. So definitely take a look at that if you're running exposed on your device. All right, so now we're going to start uh, setting up our start menu. So you're going to go to edit start menu. From here, I have the option to edit start menu items, edit start menu layout, and edit settings items. So let's go to the actual menu items. Now from here, I can just reorder the applications. So the ones that I often use I can place up top or I can actually bundle them up in a folder and I can create a new folder and position them towards the top where I can easily access them as you can see I have social media right here and I can easily access all my social media in one place you are limited to a certain number a certain amount of folders though I'm not clear what it is but it does state in the Prima version that you have unlimited so definitely check that out then I'm going to go ahead and edit start menu layout. Now this actually edits the layout of your start menu. You can edit the size of the taskbar so that you can see right there down below being adjusted. If you want it slimmer, you can do that. I'm going to have it to be kind of small. Let's uh, adjust the transparency. You can have it kind of clear, kind of non-transparent if you want. It's all up to you. Mess around with this. Once you're done, just hit apply. You can adjust the height, obviously. Just hit that. Then you're going to go to edit settings items. So right here you have some system toggles that you can easily access. And you just add more by hitting this up here and add settings. So if you're rooted, you can choose the reboot option and you can also power down your system and some other things available there for you. Now let's go into there's a start button feature, but that actually requires the premium version as well. But I think the basic or stock icon, which is this one, is fine. I don't need anything too fancy. Then down below, you have some other minor options available that you can go through yourself. I'm just going to hit OK, and everything's set up. And I'm just going to hit this kind of, I know it's pretty difficult to see, but down right here, there's a little faint icon. I'm just going to go ahead and tap that, and I'm going to open up my start menu. I can easily scroll through all the apps. You can also add actual contacts here if you want. Uh, this is a Nexus, so I don't have the capability to call, so I didn't add any contacts, but I do have my social media folder with my Facebook and NFL mobile. I can close that. Then I have my uh, system toggles, like airplane mode, uh, my Wi-Fi, and then I can also access the settings of the application itself. So it's pretty useful and it's also cool, and you get the little nostalgia from the old Windows operating system, so definitely try it out. Check out the full guide on GadgetHacks.com. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and definitely hit the subscribe button for some more awesome Gadget Hack videos. Thanks, guys.